Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the Higher Education Open event. In this session we're going to be looking at our BA Artist Blacksmithing course which is in collaboration with Hereford College of Arts. We have the tutors on hand to answer your questions but first a short video to guide you through the subject. Sit back and enjoy and if you have any questions feel free to type them in to the Q&A section and we'll answer them afterwards. Welcome to the Herefordshire Ludlow North Shropshire College, the Home Lacey Campus. I'm Adam Greenwell, the lead technical blacksmith tutor for the degree course. At this facility, we provide 42 fires, power hammers, cutting, punching, drilling, and hand tools for you to use while we teach you blacksmithing techniques, which will enable you to produce your work. We have a unique pedagogy where we teach the fundamental techniques of blacksmithing, but focus on the development of contemporary process. We forget the traditional ideas and explore volume, shape, material movement, which will allow you to create your intention. This is a fantastic facility and an, ins and an inspiring place to work, being able to share ideas with tutors and peers to help you develop into a skilled craftsperson. It's an exciting collaboration between Hereford Art College and the Home Lacey Campus, which brings the best of design and blacksmithing facilities together to create a world-class artistic blacksmithing course. I am inspired to see the development of a student and their design from fruition to completed piece. I am always amazed at the variety of work produced by our students, ranging from sculpture, interior, industrial and forged objects. This blacksmithing degree at Hereford College of Arts has an international profile and is at the forefront of education in forged metal design. Our syllabus is constantly evolving to meet the demands of a vibrant international industry. We look for applications from tenacious, motivated people who are excited by hot forged metal. We will teach you how to forge, how to articulate your ideas, how to draw, how to design and how to make. And our specialist college provides you with an innovative and nurturing environment. Design is a very important part of the course and it's definitely a very important part of my practice. Learning all the forge processes and material processes within the first year helps so much. I think without that, I wouldn't have produced the gate that I've done for the degree show. A lot of metal design courses around the world are not forged centric. Some of them have access to those facilities, but here contemporary forging is the goal of this course. Forging with steel has no limitations. The only limitations are your own perception of what's possible. We want you to make the work that really inspires you, whether that's architectural ironwork, products, gallery work or sculpture. As you move through the course, you'll work with other professional blacksmiths and designers. You'll build a professional network and have opportunities to work to commission and on external live briefs. You'll get the chance to exhibit your work, create an online presence, identify your core values and complete a personal business plan. At the end of the course, you will have developed your own distinct practice with a wide range of technical and creative skills and be ready for the start of your career. My work will be based heavily on architectural blacksmithing, also on interior design work. I'd consider myself now to be more of an artist rather than a blacksmith. But I think the course has a lot of room for people to go either way. I've absolutely loved my time at Hereford College of Art. Um, so how much theory and practical do we do? OK, so <clears throat> I guess that what we've got to do is define those words and what they mean. So um, it's a degree course. Uh, we want our students to be in and working five days a week. So it's a five day a week full time program. Um, in terms of your forge time, you go over to the forge and you work 15 hours a week at the fire. So you're 15 hours a week at the fire and the anvil. But there's lots of other practical time when you're not based at home, Lacey. Um, we really encourage students to maquette 
and to test ideas using the other workshops over at the art school. So certainly as a first year, you'd spend a whole day a week in our Queen's workshop, um, testing and exploring ideas that you could take to the forge at another point. And when we talk about theory, um, there are two sorts of theory. Um, we really encourage our students to be reflective practitioners. So we want them to be clear, as Adam talked about, clear about their intentions. So, you know, there's research involved in terms of your design process. Um, Adam de delivers um, some forge theory sessions, so where we really look at metallurgy and forge theory. And we also really want our students to think. And so we have a module that's called Practice in Context. It's all about um, being a very aware and focused uh, designer and thinker. And so in that module in the first year, there'll be like two essays connected with that. We're very passionate about the relationship between theory and practice, being able to articulate your intention well. And so in terms of that theory, it starts off with understanding objects and object based analysis. We look at some sort of key frameworks to interrogate objects. We look at Rose and Prown and Tara Hamlin. We get you to hold objects and interrogate them to be able to critically analyze them and put them within a wider framework. So there's like different sorts of words for theory and different words for practice, but it's really a hands on learning through doing course um, that will involve you working very hard five days a week. Adam, do you want to add to that? Uh, yes, can you hear me? Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's a practical and theory um, in, in blacksmithing. You, you need a good theory foundation to, to actually be able to um, manipulate the steel in the way that you want. Um, and you can also take advantage of how far you can push the boundaries with the material. Um, so a good grounding with theory on um, sort of metallurgy and other things, workshop maintenance and tool maintenance, um, health and safety things that will make you more employable uh, for when you finish or if you want to set your own workshop up, it, it helps you in that direction. Um, so it's good. We teach, we tend to teach theory in an hour session each week um, and that's a classroom based session. Um, but when we deliver um, demonstrations, we also go through theory as, as we're doing the demonstration as well. Uh, so it sort of goes hand in hand. OK, um, someone's asked, do I have to have any experience to do this course? OK, so um, we have students from all sorts of um, backgrounds. If we think about making forged metal objects, we think about idea, process and materials. So I was talking about students that come from different backgrounds. Sometimes they have a forged metal skill, but they don't have much design experience. Sometimes they have um, a design experience, but not much forged metal experience. But we need to have a bit of experience in one of those areas. Um, the, the course is quite selective and competitive. So um, what we're able to do is offer offer advisory interviews where we encourage students to um, to have a conversation, bring what they've got, and then we can advise them the best way forward from that point. So you don't have to have lots of forged metal experience, but you do need to know that you don't mind getting very hot and sweaty and occasionally burnt. So you need to have had enough experience forging to know that you really have got the bug and you love it. But we do teach you lots and lots of basics. Again, we teach you lots and lots of basics in terms of designing and drawing right from the beginning. So as long as you've got some experience in one of those areas, and anyway, we're happy to talk to anyone who's interested in forged metal design because between us and between both institutions, we have a whole suite of programmes that could be the right course for you. Brilliant, thank you. Um, so one question is: Can I come into the forge out of Timetable hours to work on projects? No. <laughs> so basically, really straightforward. So um, we um, 
you know, in the art school, um, we have um, all sorts of opening hours and you've um, you've got access to your design studio and the library until about seven. In fact, two nights a week, our forthcoming timetable has first years working in the forge until half past eight in the evening anyway. But um, the forge, as Adam and I know, because we've just been working on timetables, is a very busy place. And when the degree students aren't using it, then um, level two and level three blacksmiths are using the forges. So we have a very tight it's a bit like um yeah very tight timetable it's very clear when you're in the forge and when you're in the art school and so um, there's limited capacity to be in the forge at other times okay um, how many UCAS points is needed to get onto the course? OK, so um, you, 80 UCAS points, but to be 100% clear, we are less interested in UCAS points. We have a lot of mature students that study with us as well who don't have UCAS points. That's a minimum requirement. Really, our focus is on the interview, in, in having that conversation, bringing in, uh, and we say the word portfolio, but um, if you don't come from an art and design background, what we're really saying is bring whatever you've got. So um, I was talking to a student yesterday who um, has done lots of academic subjects in school, but every weekend he's taking his motorbike apart, he's in his granddad's shed, he's welding up gates. So it doesn't even have to be things that you've done in school, but anything you think is relevant to say, this is the course I want to do and this is the experience that's relevant. So it might not be in school, um, it might be things that you do on the weekend or other interests that you've got, but um, just rock up with those pictures and a real vision of what sort of blacksmith you'd like to be. Um, it's great if you've got a bit of ex sort of done a bit of research into contemporary blacksmithing and thought about um, different people who, who be different people whose work you're really inspired by. Um, so yeah, the focus is really on the interview and the conversation rather than UCAS points per se. OK, um, what would we make on the course? Well, anything out of forged metal design that you perceive or conceive or think about. <laughs> and uh, if you like I was saying earlier, if you head over to Instagram and have a look through there, you will see anything. In fact, if you just take a moment when you're walking down the street or looking about your house, think of all the things that are around you that are made from steel or that are made from forging and, and it's all of that and more. So when you, you know, we have students that are making things for the kitchen, people that are making pans and utensils and coffee machines and all sorts of exciting things for the kitchen. We have people that are making gates and railings and architectural pieces that um, we have people that are making sculpture. We have people that are s expressing their inner thoughts through forge metal. We have tool makers. We have shelf makers we have anything Let's take a moment look around you in the world there's a lot of steel around you if people i'm in my kitchen now as we're in a pandemic and all of the handles on all of my kitchen cupboards are all beautifully forged i've got forged hooks on the wall i've got forged pans yes anything and and you know like there will be times on the course in the first year where we teach you process through tool making so you'll be making tools there'll be some projects which are very focused on key outcomes so there might be a utensils brief or we might be looking at a piece of architectural work and as you go through the course you will get into the into the get into writing your own briefs. So you'll be defining your own intention and writing your own briefs, um, which is when all of these, you know, range of possibilities opens out to you. So we are passionate about you making the work that you love, thinking and also having an excellent forge skill. OK, um, will I get the chance to exhibit the work I create? So yes, it's very important that you get your work out into the real world. Absolutely. So what does that look like? Well, sometimes we might have a live brief and commission that comes in for a gate and your gate is much happier at the end of a garden than it is in a gallery. So um, it might be a live brief and we have some commissions coming in. Um, uh, we one of my passions is um, exhibiting and gallery work um, and 
that really suits some of the objects our students make. Um, we do things like routinely take our students to exhibitions in London, such as New Designers, although obviously in a pandemic it was cancelled. We also last autumn took our student graduate work to Italy, to the Biennale, um, and so we take our students work to Europe. We've got um, so you do have chance to exhibit your work, whether that is locally. Um, the last couple of years, we've run a big um, blacksmithing festival in Hereford called Ferris. Another thing to look online and see some of those images, the Ferris Festival. And so we overtook lots of shop units. So students had opportunities to exhibit as part of that. So really, lot, yeah, plenty of exhibit opportunities to be involved in exhibitions and also opportunities to travel with your hammers. So um, we like to offer our students to blacksmithing events across the world and get really actively involved. Um, Adam can tell you a little bit about in the moment about Bath Iron, which he was very involved in. We've taken students to Belgium to forge at EEP. Um, we are very involved in the Biennale in Italy and Tuscany every other alternate year. So we take students there. And Adam, do you want to tell us a bit about Bath Iron? Because that was something you were very involved in as well. Yeah, yeah. So Bath Iron, a fantastic uh, event that happened over a weekend in Bath, um, where we had teams of international blacksmiths um, making panels for a um, a, a music, um, I can't remember the word now, um, a music stand and um and so each team generally took on a student uh, or two so so they got the opportunity to work with international blacksmiths um at the top of the game uh, be involved um in the making and uh, it was a great event um but not only that it's the social side of things as well um which is really good and important to be involved with um you know the the chat you have after after making such items um, may lead on to other experiences or work opportunities around the world. Uh, so it's a great thing to be involved with. So um, lots of both exhibitions and going places and forging in different parts of the world. Okay, brilliant. Um, one question is: What sorts of jobs have your previous students gone on to do? OK, so um, they keep forging. <laughs> so uh, if you look at the hashtag Hereford Anvils alumni on Instagram, you can see some of our graduates, although not everyone is um, not everyone's on Instagram or not everyone's using the hashtag. So um, we have a very high proportion of students that um, the, the iron remains in their blood and they want to keep forging and forging every day. What does that look like? Well, for some people, it looks like setting up their own business as a sole trader, um, um, and a number of our students have done that. Uh, and if you look at the, the website, we can give you some of their contact details. Um, it also looks like um, people working as a journeyman, so people working um, for other blacksmiths and taking that post degree opportunity to like travel the world but travel the world with their hammers in their rucksack so you know we've got a number of students um, and a number of graduates who have left us and have, have worked for other blacksmiths gaining much more experience and knowledge before coming back and setting up and um, the Hereford Anvils has a sort of a, a real a really positive reputation and so there are uh, the great thing about social media is being able to keep up with students and and hear about all the adventures that they're on um, and also um, I guess that we have a few students who decide they want to have some other sort of career and keep forging as a real hobby but a huge proportion of our students you know either work for other blacksmiths or set up as sole traders Okay. Um, and so oh, some of them go on and do master's programs as well. So, you know, like um, a degree is um, levels four, five and six. You know, like um, if you're interested in getting involved in blacksmithing um, and returning into education, you may have a look at like the level two or th level three qualifications also offered by Herefordshire and Ludlow College. And a number of our um, degree graduates go on to master's level study. Um, that's level seven. Um, they 
currently this year we have several students studying in the University of Gothenburg, HDK Stenneby in Sweden. Um, we also have graduates working at the University of Southern um, Illinois in the US, um, which are there are two other places where you can really learn about forged metal and design. And we do have some artist blacksmiths that stay on and do a master's level in contemporary craft at Hereford College of Arts. OK, um, we do have one last question. Um, is there accommodation available? And the answer to that is yes, there's all sorts of accommodation. Currently, um, the new station approach building is being built um, right next to Hereford train station and that's um, an exciting new complex that is growing every day and so there's accommodation there but we also have a really good working relationship with a lot of local landlords within Hereford and so there's that opportunity to live in a shared house that may also have a garden and uh, maybe more familiar with people bringing in um, disc grinders to the kitchen so um, yeah We've got new halls, new accommodation, and also, you know, there's that opportunity to live in shared accommodation or find independent accommodation. Hereford's a small sized city, easy to get around, easy to navigate. Um, the course is, um, yeah, very friendly. Okay, so we'll ensure to put everything up on to YouTube. Um, if you have any questions, you can comment on our social media pages um, you can contact through the website or you can call the colleges um, and we'll ensure to try and get your query sorted. But thank you for watching.